I'm really busy all the time or I feel like I'm busy all the time. She takes um, time out of her day just to like come check up on us girls. Um, just like even if it's like a really busy day, I feel like she always makes a way to come talk to us. Like whether it's just like a really small conversation or just giving us a hug or just something like that. Just being able to um, have enough time and resources and ability to be able to get every child individually what they need. She makes me feel special because um, she tucks me in a certain way at night and that just makes me feel special. She, like tucks me in on the sides and then gives me a hug and a kiss. So being able to spread yourself in so many different areas and wearing lots of hats um, is probably the, the biggest struggle, but I think it's a struggle that we all have and that we all work through and grow on together. She's always willing to put like her stuff aside, like her personal stuff aside to help us um, with school or um, family stuff or just really anything. So I'm just thankful that she's willing to take the time and put that, put her stuff aside to do stuff for us or with us. They always say don't pray for patience, but I, I do, I pray for patience because it's an area that I would love to grow in. Um, I would love to grow in my ability sometimes to let loose of a schedule a little bit and to be um, have more of that spontaneous, unpredictable fun, not always completely scheduled out fun. Um, and to be able to just think on top of my toes. I'd like to be a little bit more of a jokester. My husband's a super big jokester, so the kids can always like joke and laugh with him. I'm, I'm a little bit more, you know, how everything has to stay in line. So I'd like to be a little bit more of a jokester with my kids. Like at night when it's just the older kids, she plays Beat Saber a lot. So she's actually really good at it too. I'm not good at it, but she's good at it. Um, so she plays Beat Saber. She watches TV with us. Staying up late and just like having conversations or like me and her will take turns like playing Beat Saber on their VR. I have to sit there and say, did I get a chance to truly connect with my kids today? And if I didn't, then making sure that for me, I take that time and look at the next day and say, okay, what's going on and where can I make sure that I take some extra moments to really connect with my kids. I know I can come to her and she's just like really caring. Um, she's always there for us no matter what, whether I want to hear some, um, like whether I want to hear something or not, like she always gives us the truth and I feel like I'm really grateful for that just because I don't want someone to like to lie and like give me something I want to hear. She's the closest house mom I've ever had because she cares for us like a mom. Thank you, Miss Lace, for bringing it to the zoo and caring for us. Um, at least so. I love like the way that you are always there for us, and just like you're like you always like are smiling and laughing in the cottage and stuff like that, and trying to like boost up our like um, our attitudes and stuff and make us happy. Um, I also love how like you sit there and like play Beat Saber with us and just play like random things or board games and stuff like that and just spend quality time with us. Um, and you really are like an inspiration to all of us in our cottage, um, especially me. I just wanna say thank you. Um, you've done a lot for me as I've been here. Um, whenever you first moved in the cottage, it was like real awkward just cause I hadn't really, it was just like hard to get to know you. Not hard, but like it was hard to like, just start trusting. Um, but as I got to know you, like I feel like I could uh, rely on you more and just um, thank you for being so caring and just like, I really feel like I could come to you for anything. I'm just thankful to be able to call you a mother figure and just be able to look up to you as that, so. She's the closest house mom I've ever had because she cares for us like a mom. We're always here for you. Like, I don't ever want you to feel discouraged. Like, if you're down, like, we're all here for you. Like, you got this. Like, you're super woman. You can do anything. She's my favorite house mom in the whole world. I love you. It makes me feel valued. Um, it does make me feel like I am doing what God has called me to do. And I am, even on the hard days that I don't feel like I'm not, like I'm still making an impact in their lives. And um, it's it's rewarding. It's it's fulfilling to hear. It's, it's good to know that they see what we aim for and 
like that they see that we aim to be that parental figure in their life that they can trust, that they can love, and that we can fill some of those holes that they have because we can't fill them all. Um, we're not designed to, and God's designed to fill those spaces that we can't fill, but it, it's good to know that we, we are filling some of that for them and so that they can move on to healing and bigger things in their life and be able to push forward for a better future for themselves.